This is the GOOG one month overview reading for the month of October 2024. That's Alphabet Class C shares, formerly known as Google. It's currently September 24th, 2024, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time. GOOG at the time of this reading, $163.64. That's USD. And the shuffle video for the October reading was created on August 20th, 2024, at 9.47 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. In this video, we're going to cover the overall trend direction for the month, as well as any important chart events that take place throughout the month. We're also going to cover the week by week chart behavior, timing of the peaks and troughs. Then we're going to get into a review of the previous month's reading to give you an idea of what our accuracy really is like. And we're going to give you one of the best trades that we see for the month. The timing for the most part is going to be on point to the day, but there will be some cases where the sequence of events as outlined in the prediction will remain accurate, but the day might be off plus or minus a day wiggle room here or there. In other readings, you won't need to plus or minus wiggle room at all. Point being is that you want to follow the sequence of events as outlined by the prediction. When trading this information, you don't want to use price levels as your entry and exits. This is very important. You want to make sure that you're trading with entry and exits based on chart behavior and general timing, but look for the chart behavior. All of that in this video, stay tuned to watch the review at the end. So the overall theme and behavior for GOG in the month of October is the fortune card. So the fortune card can indicate quite a few different things. In the theme position, it could be that there's a major reversal on like a, a one year chart kind of scale, or more than likely it's gonna be that there's multiple prominent reversals throughout the month, especially when you combine it with the lovers card, which is the crossing card. Otherwise, in other words, the energies that help or hinder the overall trend, the lovers card being a, a move to the upside followed by a full retracement. If we're looking at it from the standpoint of chart behavior representation. It could also have something to do with a major agreement or decision between two leaders. Could have, I'm sensing something having to do with the candidates for presidency or the two major ones, the Democratic and the Republican candidates for presidency. Something something like that probably. Oh, I'm getting so tired of this political nonsense. It's destroying our country, guys. It really is. I hope I hope people come to see that. Behavior around the high is high for the month. We have quite a bit of price change into the high, into and or out of the high, and a lot of volatility around the high as well. Should be an important technical price level on at least a one month scale taking place probably on a one-year chart scale near the high here in October. Something else is, that's important to point out about the high or highs for the month is that the, the highest high and the lowest low will be within close time proximity to each other. So on a, on a scale of a one-month reading, that could be within just a couple of days, or it could be like more spread out over like a week's time, but it'll be like a straight move from one to the other. Usually it's more like something over a couple of days time when they're really close to each other. We'll, we'll look at that in more detail when we get into the monthly access version of this video. Behavior around the low slow, we have a significant move to the downside. It's likely going to be a market-wide kind of decline, a decline that takes place. And Google will decline into its low as part of that market-wide decline. In a lot of the equity readings, I'm seeing a peak early in the first week, and then it kind of like swings back and forth with a bearish day overall by the end of the week there on the fourth. In the second week, we have multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance on a multi-day scale near the day's high on the seventh. And we have some sideways rotation mid-second week will turn into more like volatility and then more of a decline around Thursday, more volatility on the 11th. There's an important resistance level there on the 11th and a prominent peak end trough that'll form. Looks like a trough midway, midweek as well there, mid second week that you don't want to chase a decline there. In the third week, we go from a significant trough on a multi-day scale there early on, early in the week on probably Monday into a significant peak midweek and then more towards the end of the week, like a, a more significant peak towards the end of the week. Matter of fact, there's a peak on the, uh, like around the 17th there, and then we, we turn into a trough by the end of the third week. Some, some pretty wild back and forth behavior going on in the fourth week, early on in the fourth week, we see important troughs and important peaks both on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, and Thursday. So a lot of, a lot of price swinging probably going on here in the fourth week. Yeah, a lot of price swinging, especially in the center part of the fourth week. And then we have another prominent peak in the fifth. There's like a partial week for a fifth week here uh, around the 25th, a prominent peak that will sell off from, will move to the upside midweek. And then that rally will complete at another prominent peak towards the end of the week. Significant trade opportunity and a lot of price change on a multi-day scale that will stand out. Uh, that's our sneak preview card for November. So at some point in there, there's gonna be a lot of price change and a really important multi-day opportunity. I'm gonna review September's reading thus far. It's almost the end of September. And then stay tuned because after that, we're gonna get into one of the best trades that I see for Google in the month of October. So we had a lowest low thus far on the third and then a lower lowest low on the fifth. That's one of the locations that I had as a lowest low. You could say here on the third, we had a lowest low thus far. And then that went into on the, what do we have here? The ninth. So it looks like this one was a little bit late. We did have quite a lot of price change into a trough here on the fifth. Well, it ends up being the sixth here. And it also is a revisiting of a crest that was an opportunity. Uh, this was one of my worst readings. Uh, this might be my worst reading for, for September. A lot of them are really on point, but this one, it looks like I missed, I missed the low. See that right there? And that's a cross reading congruency that I missed as well on the, on the one year. Interesting. Oh, well, that cross reading congruency probably has to do with, ne with the, the next few days. Okay, so this is important to point out here, right? This Unicursal, when you see us move to the upside after Unicursal, there's no like sharp drop immediately following it or, or at its point. What that's indicating is an important technical price level that we're going to break down through in the next major decline on a multi-day scale. So I'm going to mark that off. If you're new to the channel, we always do, we always mark off Unicursals with a black line, but then we have highs here on the 19th, 20th. We nailed that. And then it looks like we'll probably have a higher one here on the 26th 
August 27th. That might be a little late because it might be the 25th actually, because on, on a lot of the, the equities, I, I think in September, we have a drop here off of the 25th or 26th. So probably what'll happen is we'll top out there on the 25th or the 26th. Also the 20th marks off the Ace of Swords price level. I'm gonna mark that off as well. The Swords price levels will be marked off in orange. I would do yellow, but it's too hard to read on the chart. And usually what'll happen is you'll decline from that price level and then return to it in the not too distant future. It's a really good trade opportunity card and you can see how that took place. Much of this accurate, like a day by day a chart behavior, anybody following along with the trade alerts would have done pretty solid. Our Discord trade alerts as part of the monthly access subscription. The lows were off, the highs were on point for the most part. The lows were, the low, well, I had the lows off at the beginning of the month actually. I mean, I had the, the lows uh, almost on point at the beginning of the month, but this one, the 16th was definitely off. Even so, a lot of those trades still would have panned out. And if, again, if you would have had the live Discord trading alerts, then you did all right with that. So not my best work by any means, but again, if you're following along on the live stream or with Discord, the, the, the up-to-date information will like in real time is even more effective and valuable than when we look at it months in advance because sometimes we get the dates off it happens human error the, one of the best trades that i see this is how you're going to do it guys here on the seventh whatever this this price level this resistance level is on the seventh that we fail to break through many times or we, we have multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance there we should decline from there and then return probably on on the 10th is when well kind of uh, the 9th or the 10th will have like a bottom there'll be some volatility and a sharp drop that'll stand out in the volatility uh, around the 9th and you'll want to You'll be tempted to chase the decline there. I advise you not to do that. Instead, open up a partial long position. Add to the long position on the 10th if there's opportunity. We probably have a, at least one notable reversal on the 10th. And then close those long positions on the 11th when we revisit the price level roughly, not exact, but around the same price level range as the resistance that we had on the seventh that we failed to break through many times before. That would be kind of like your exit. And if that doesn't work out, then you might be able to add to the long here on the 14th and close out of the whole position here on the 15th. If not, then, then most certainly on the 17th. But I wouldn't wait for the latest opportunity. I would take the first opportunity to exit. And if you miss it or it doesn't work out, those are backups. Never wait for the last opportunity. Um, and that's that's one of the best trades that I see for the remaining trades. And there's a bunch of them, guys, as well as the timing of the highest highs and the lowest lows. You're going to want to get monthly access on our website. Not only do you get the timing of the highest highs and the lowest lows, which are usually right. We weren't last month with Google. And I, I'm, I'm, it's important for me to show you guys that so you start you don't start betting like I'm right all the time. Because then, I mean, I'm not right all the time. <laughs> right at most of the time, but not all the time. So, so you get the live Discord trade alerts, right? Most of the time, like 90 something percent of the time. And you get the live updated trading view charts. All of that as part of the monthly access subscription, our most popular subscription on the website. And really the most effective way to, to utilize this information is with those Discord alerts and the, trade, the live updated trading view chart because it doesn't get more in, in real time than that. And when I'm, when I'm wrong about something on a reading, very rarely is the whole reading wrong. I don't think that's ever happened. When I'm wrong about something, I'm able to see how I went wrong in real time. So th that's why those Discord alerts and those uh, charts are so valuable. Definitely undervalued for the price that they're going for. Much love and appreciation to everybody that goes and does that. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. That's the whole purpose of the channel. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.